Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and once again it is time for Stamp Joy in Des Moines, Iowa put on by Tailored Expressions and just like last year I thought I would take you on the trip with me. In today's vlog we will be getting some crafty stuff ready to go and packed for the event. I hope you'll stick around and find out more. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. You'll definitely want to do that if you enjoyed today's vlog and want to see the rest of my trip. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. During the pandemic, my sister and I kind of got hooked on Tailored Expressions virtual Stamp Joy events. And in fact, before everything closed down, we were going to attend the in-person one in 2020. Well, unfortunately that didn't happen, but we did have loads of fun doing a couple virtual ones. Well, last year we got a chance to go to the in-person one and had a blast. I did vlog that and I will have that series linked in the description box below if you want to check it out. And not to spoil anything in that series, but by the end of the weekend, my sister and I definitely knew this was something we wanted to go to again. So I think it was in July you could sign up for this fall's event and we got right on that and got our spots. If you've never heard of Stamp Joy and after watching my vlog series you think it might be something you want to try out, make sure to get signed up for the Tailored Expressions newsletter and they also have a Fans of Tailored Expressions Facebook page where they give all of the latest news. Now just a heads up, I am not affiliated in any way with Tailored Expressions. I have just found that their events for me are the most worth the money, I guess. You know, theirs is the one that I definitely spend the weekend, whether it's virtual or in person, doing the projects. I've done other virtual ones in the past where I still have not completed hardly any of the projects, if any at all. In this vlog series, you're gonna see me getting ready to go, which will be today. Um, you'll see me packing up, driving to Des Moines, and then you'll have vlogs for each day of the event. So this will probably be a four to five video series. So again, make sure to get subscribed if you're not already. And I will have a link to the Stamp Joy 2022 playlist in the description box below. So you just have a one-stop shop to see all of the videos. One of the events during the weekend is a card swap, and that's what you've seen me working on in the video so far, is getting my cards ready. Now last year I did not participate in it because I will tell you going up to strangers and talking to them is not my forte, but bringing that up, if you think about going to Stamp Joy, but you know you're gonna be by yourself and you might be worried, please do not. Everybody there is so friendly, and no matter if you go alone or with a group, you're gonna leave there with so many new friends. So getting back to the card swap, this is an optional event during the weekend, and they do ask that if you're gonna participate, you bring at least 25 cards, plus one for the board with your supply list. That way, if somebody really liked your card but didn't get a chance to swap with you, they had your information and the supplies that you used. I ended up taking 30 of the same card. Some people brought maybe two or three different designs you could choose from. And then at the end of the swap, you have however many cards you took, you have that same amount in new inspiration. I plan on using my bucket of cards later to inspire me and give me ideas for new layouts. 
You might have noticed when I was doing the ink blending that I had a helper with me. My daughter um, chipped in and she helped me do the ink blending on mine. And at this point, we knew there was gonna be a little change in plans for the weekend and that she would be going with me. Now I'll talk more about that in the next video, but when she saw my cards, she decided that she wanted some of her own to swap. So she ended up looking through my Tailored Expressions goodies to pick out an image and a sentiment stamp set. She did the design of the overall card and helped me get started, but because we were running short on time and she still has to go to school, I ended up finishing them for her, but I did make sure each step of the way to okay what I was going to do on the card. You will see her card at the end of this portion before I move on to my next fun things that I made for Stamp Joy. Now I'll tell you a little bit about my card. Since I'm not voicing over each step of the process, you can let me know if you have any questions, but I will link the products in the description box below if I can find them. But basically, before I had my inks and my cardstock shipped, which you know that I have Gina K Designs inks and cardstock, so I had to get some new from Tailored Expressions, I had an idea of what I was gonna do in my head and I pre-cut that Strathmore Bristol smooth paper because I was gonna do some ink smooshing. Well, when it got here, the colors were slightly different than what I had used for my prototype and I didn't end up liking it as well. So I went through three or four possibilities and then I ended up on the one you'll see here. And I have to say, even though I did really like my first prototype, I love this layout so much more. I thought that crafty background was great for a card swap at a crafty convention. And then to help that sentiment stand out from the background, I used a vellum circle and popped it up with some foam tape. Now you'll see here in just a minute how I finished the card off, but it is an envelope that I stamped and die cut from an actual background stamp. I added a little color to the heart in the center of it, and then you know I need to add some embellishing at the end, so I used Tailored Expressions Clear Drip Drops, and I put three around the vellum circle, and then for a little more shine, one of my favorite things lately has been adding glossy accents. So I did add some of that to each of the hearts on the envelope. Now because I did have to package these up but I had the glossy accents, they did have to sit on my counter and I let them dry for 24 hours. Now to package these up, which you will see, I put each one in a card sleeve, and then inside of that, I did go ahead and put my contact information and supply list inside of each of those card jackets, just in case they were interested, and I also had a QR code for a special website I set up for them. Now, for the rest of the process, I'll just let you watch it and listen to a little music. Again, don't forget if you have any questions, leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. But make sure to keep watching as well because there is more crafty stuff that I got ready. Up on screen now are the cards that Presley designed for the weekend. I might be biased, but I think she did an awesome job. Now to carry these around while we were swapping, we went to the Dollar Tree to find something. Originally I was going to try to get little wooden crates that I had heard fit cards, but we ended up finding these cute gold baskets and they held our cards perfectly. The next items that I made before I left were also for an optional event, which I will tell you about in just a little bit. But first, I'll tell you more about the items. 
If you have ever seen my merch line, you know that I have a t-shirt that has different types of cards and then hashtag card maker at the bottom. Well, I thought I would take some little souvenirs with me and this is a button with that same design. Now, if you are a paper trimmer channel member and you have already hit your three month mark, this is one of the four buttons you get in your special set. As a little side note, if you didn't know, I do have channel membership starting at just $1.99 a month. And if you click on the join button below this video, you can get more details on the perks and pricing. Now let's get back to those buttons. Like I said before, they were for an optional event and it was extra special. And that is the mix and mingle that took place Thursday night, which was the night before the event started. This was put on at the Hilton downtown Des Moines where some of us were staying and Peggy and Barbara and Trisha put this event together. It was just a chance for those who got in that day early to get together and start making new friends. And let me tell you, we definitely did. In my next Stamp Joy vlog, you'll get to hear more about the event and see some awesome photos. But what I'm doing with the buttons is it was another optional thing that you could bring a little gift, maybe to represent your state or just something that you wanted to share with others. And then the night of the event, they had a drawing. Well, since I love to use my button maker, I decided that I would take a button for each person in attendance at the mix and mingle. I think there ended up being almost 70 people there. I did go ahead and I made some extra. I think I ended up making 125 just about total, just in case I made new friends at Stamp Joy and I could hand these out. You'll see me now. I am cutting the little insert that's going to go in the baggie with the button. And there's a QR code on the back that if they want to, they could check out a special website I made for them. I just thought this was a cute little gift. And yes, like I said, I love to use this button maker. If you do have questions about my button maker, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's called a maybe Tecra or Tecker, it's T-E-C-R-E. I will link it in the description box below. I don't have any affiliation with them, but I just love the quality of this button maker and I use it a lot. The ones that I make are one and a quarter inches. I did end up giving quite a few away at the event, but I do have some leftovers. So if you would like the chance to get one of these buttons, leave a comment in that comment section below and just somewhere in there include the hashtag, hashtag button. And when I make the final video, which is when I'll show all the cards and little gifts and items I bought during the weekend, I will announce five lucky winners. Once the cards and the buttons were made, it was time to pack up our crafty items for the weekend. Now with the price of admission, they do provide everything to do the make and takes, but if you're going to take a class, you do need to bring some other items, and that's what we packed now. Then once everything was safe in our little backpacks, which I am reusing mine from last year, and Presley is just using one like it for this year, we were all ready to get ourselves packed up and ready to go the next day. And that will be in the next vlog. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. And until the next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.